in the recent shot, I tried to explain why the array store exception happens, and I got the best comment ever. I still didn't explain why, the why. So let's try to explain it again. So um, now, at the beginning of Java, there were no generics. So there was no way to attach additional information for the compiler somewhere. So uh, the design decision back then was that the arrays keep the, um, the type information at runtime. Uh, it's called reification. So this is what, what Sun decided back then. And the next decision was as well that... Um, the arrays are covariant, so if I define an array of numbers, I can store any number I like, any subclass of the number, like here integer, float or double, but string is not a number, and this is why I get the array store exception. So the reason why we need the exception is because there was no way for the compiler to, to check the type back then without generics. The uh, array... Um, retains the uh, type information at runtime, so it keeps the information at, uh, uh, at runtime. And uh, at, assign at assignment time, it checks whether the type assigned on the right side is a subclass of the uh, array. If it is, it works. If it doesn't, we, ga we get array store exception.